Why is it making a line? Come on, come on. You're not doing anything. Ugh. Why are you not doing anything? Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So in my last video, I tried out a bunch of different art apps. So today I thought it would be fun to finally try out an app that I've seen on my phone many times. It's basically a simplified version of my favorite Procreate app for the iPad. I am gonna be testing out Procreate Pocket on my phone using a $10 Amazon stylus. Actually, if you would like to see me make a video comparing the $100 pencil to this $10 pencil, like the video, let me know. Okay, so for this particular video, I'm gonna be using this fancy little stand here that I think was like 10 or $12 from Amazon. It's just gonna hold my phone in place. I actually really like this by the way, and I will link everything. Um, but it literally just like holds the iPad as well, which is very handy. The amazingly talented Macarena who actually designed the banner for my YouTube channel came out with this beautiful collection with Casetify. Um, this is the phone case I've been using recently. It is gorgeous. Check out her collection. I'll also link that in the description below. Again, not sponsored, but it's just a beautiful phone. She's incredibly talented. So as you can see, I've never actually used it. It's an Editor's Choice app. It's $4.99 and it's actually not got the greatest ratings in the world. I'm not sure why, um, but I'm so familiar with Procreate that I feel like it's gonna be nice and simple. And that's one of the reasons I love it so much is because it's so easy to use. It's not remotely confusing personally to me. Okay, so we're gonna download this. I'm gonna turn this pen on. Pocket, I'm so excited. Oh, it's fancy, look at that. Ooh, okay, let's look at this. So this is something someone made, that is adorable. So we're gonna make a new one, we'll do the screen size. So I really, really, really am a big Star Wars fan. I have been since I first saw the prequels when I was 11. I was very excited about the new Obi-Wan series. I'm actually gonna do a little Darth Vader. looking at Darth Vader and I don't know how to use the undo button. So instead of googling how do you use the undo feature in Procreate Pocket, Chloe instead insisted on spending several grueling hours just drawing over her mistakes instead of simply undoing. This is because she is both stubborn and does not like to read instructions. Luckily however many hours later she did in fact understand how to undo by accident after she had spent hours undoing her artwork by mistake. Now in my last video, I don't want to call anyone out here, but there were a few narky comments because I said Procreate is my personal favorite drawing program and that I recommended it. Somehow two separate commenters somehow translated me saying, I really like Procreate. I recommend it into me saying, iPads are clearly better and every other program sucks. Apparently I only use Apple products because they're trendy. Ew, is that an Android? Take it away, I don't want to look at it. Next you'll be expecting me to use a Blackberry and drink Dasani water. I only drink Berg water, it's $200 a bottle from the tears of an iceberg. Jokes aside, I owned Windows computers for eight years and Apple stuff for seven years. I did and learned all my digital painting on a Windows computer using PaintShop Pro X. Anyone that remembers that, shout out to you. Then Sumo Paint, which was a free program. It might still be out there, it was awesome. And eventually I used Photoshop with a little refurbished Wacom tablet. And I think that iPads are very misrepresented by people that don't like Apple products. I said it, the iPads for artists are actually very reasonable compared to other screen tablets. Like if you go to Amazon, search screen tablet, you could find, you could find a ton on Amazon with different brands that you've never heard of. The cheapest that I could see was around $200, which you then need to take and plug into a computer and it replicates the screen and then you draw on the screen that way. But you don't need to buy a $700 to $1,000 iPad to use an Apple Pencil. Their cheapest iPad is actually $329. Also, do not need a $100 Apple Pencil. I will be the first to tell you these things are ridiculously overpriced. 
Amazon has a $10 version, almost identical. Yeah, I just use the apps that are best on the device that I personally use. I do have many years of experience, so I am entitled to my own opinion. Does it mean that my opinion is right? No, it's just my opinion from my experience. That is all. I wanted to clear that up. So at this point, you've seen me just talk about Procreate, why I like it, and why I don't think iPads are the greatest creation on the planet. And what you haven't seen, and what was hard to show on camera, was how bloody hard this was. Half the time, it did not want to make strokes. I couldn't figure out initially if this was just because it was a $10 pencil, or the fact I was drawing on my phone. Zooming in was very, very helpful. Sometimes you'd have to go way over 100% zoom just for the stroke to do what you actually wanted it to do. Again, I'm like 99% sure this is a phone and pencil issue versus a Procreate issue, but obviously I couldn't be sure, but I think this is why the rating is probably not over four stars. People are confusing the fact you're drawing on a phone with a cheap pencil with the fact that Procreate is Procreate. I also kept randomly dropping the pencil for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I'm not sure if this is because of how it's weighted or if I just somehow have some sort of elf living inside this pen doing a workout. The trouble is when you zoom in too much, you have such a small area to work on that you really just can't get the perspective right. So you have to keep zooming in and out constantly. You know I was getting frustrated when my head just gets closer and closer to the screen and the dramatic hand to the forehead gesture. I decided that this was, at the end of the day, a mixture between both the cheek pencil, the fact I was drawing on the phone, as well as a lot of the brushes. I'm not doing anything. Fucking hell. This is one of the most frustrating things I think I've ever done in my entire life. I'm telling you, you accidentally touch your pinky on the screen, it makes a stroke. Phones are not made to be drawn on, iPads let you rest your entire hand on them and somehow they have the technology to be like, hey, she's drawing, we won't put a mark down where her whole entire hand is resting. Really, really freaking glad that I had a screen protector because I was being slightly uh, aggressive. Pen sucks. But again, I am stubborn. I will not finish this video until I've made artwork that I'm happy with. And honestly, if you aren't accidentally making a million strokes with the side of your hand, you're accidentally undoing it because, aha, remember that undo feature I mentioned earlier? So instead of Googling, how do you use the undo feature in Procreate Pocket, Chloe instead insisted on spending several grueling hours just drawing over her mistakes instead of simply undoing. You double tap the screen to undo. As a result, I kept undoing stuff constantly and couldn't figure out why. Again, stubborn. Uh, what is this line? It, it, it just keeps coming out wobbly. This just drove me like up the wall. I did also in fact download Ibis Paint to try and see if this would do the same thing just so I could figure out if this was a pencil or a phone issue or just an app issue. Unfortunately, Ibis Paint did in fact do the same exact thing. So it must have been more than anything, the pencil and the phone screen. When I came back to this the next day, I realized I just really did not like the position of his mouth vent thing. What do you call it? You know, the triangular mouthpiece. I don't know, the Darth Vader mouth with metal pins. You know, you'd honestly think with the capabilities they had to completely give Anakin new working arms and legs after the lightsaber battle and lava burning him, they would have like some sort of better helmet. Like, can you imagine trying to see out of that thing? And he's somehow fighting people and winning. Dude has no peripheral vision. I know that he has the force, but surely that helmet is a distinct disadvantage. I'd love to see him fight actually without that helmet because I feel like he'd be even better. The reason I'm voiceovering all of this now is because there's quite a bit of anger and swearing throughout this. You know, this is the most difficult experience of drawing I've probably ever had. The strokes would not go down right. The pen kept switching off. I kept undoing things. But in the end, the more I cycled through different types of brushes, found what I liked, 
zoomed in as far as I possibly could without losing perspective of what I was drawing entirely, I managed to work it a little bit better. Now this is my first time using this pen, so this could all just be down again to this pen. I definitely think you should use the Apple Pencil on the phone if that was, I mean it's not possible, but if you could, I feel like it would be a lot easier, but I wouldn't, you know, I would not really blame the app for my difficulties. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people do, but there are a lot of features on this app for $5. The app was seamless. It never crashed. It worked perfectly. It was easy to use. A ton of brushes and features, all for $5. 100% would I say it's worth it. It's just significantly harder trying to draw on a tiny screen than anything else. Imagine drawing on a tiny canvas with a bad paintbrush. That's kind of what this was like because every time I'd put the thing down, the stroke would be above where I was putting my stupid pencil down. It kept like going in different directions. It was wobbly. It was not great. It really was However, not. that smudge tool was an absolute saving grace. Anytime I needed to blend, I just used that and luckily it blended things so nicely. I just didn't really have to do much else with it. Usually I like to personally blend manually myself with brushes. And again, if you would like to see any of my digital drawing techniques, I have a full-blown class on Skillshare. This is not sponsored, but I will leave a link to it in the description if you'd like to take it, because even though it's a little bit outdated, I have pretty much all of my tips, tricks, and advice on that class. But yeah, I usually like to manually blend myself with brushes, but I don't think that if I'd have tried to do this on my phone, I would have actually made it out of this video with a phone in one piece, because that thing would have been through the roof and in a galaxy far, far away by the time I was done with it. So, despite my issues, here is the final time lapse recorded by Procreate because, yes, the app on the phone still records the time lapse. I am so happy with how this piece turned out and I really, really did. Okay, I'm, I, I'm not gonna say I enjoyed this video because I genuinely did not enjoy making this video one little bit, but I love this piece, how it turned out and I'm really glad that I was able to do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope that you did enjoy it. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you think of this piece and if you'd like me to do this again with Ibis paint or if you would like me to try using the $10 versus the $100 pencil. And yes, thanks again for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.